us guys even to all I will now make my way up to the Lion Scout Tunnel which is at Gun Hill in St. George I'm looking up toward the Lion which is at Gun Hill in St. George This is the walkway to the lane. And by the way, this is an walkway street, as I said before. This will take you back to the signal station. This is just on top of the hill here. I will take you back to Newberry, and this is the one with a street. This is the land that was carved by Captain Henry Wilkinson, who was an officer at the signal station. It was carved in 1868. You can see the top of the signal station from here. This red building on the top of the hill here, the signal station, which was established in 1818. It was built as a fortress to signal when the enemies were coming in. Looking down into the St. George Valley and into the south of the island. And you can see the southwestern end of the island as well. So the land sits on top of the hill. Walking back down to Gun Hill Main Road. And you can see the St. George Valley with Butley Factory and Constant and St. George Secondary School. And you can see all into the south of the island with Blackman and Gallup School and the St. David's area and Fair Pilgrim area and all up to the airport in Christchurch. As I said before, this land was carved in 1868 by Captain Henry Wilkinson, who was an officer at the signal station. It was carved a signal and it, and it was carved if the lion resting his paw on a big red round ball which is supposed to be a globe a closer look at the lion So this is the back of the land now. This is the land overlooking the St. George Valley. You can see St. George Parish Church from here as well, which is the second oldest place of worship here in Barbados. It was built in 1641 and we built it in 1784. And again, St. George is in the center of the island along with the parish of St. Thomas. So there is no sea nor coastline in these parishes. St. George and St. Thomas can best be referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. You can see all into the Bridgetown port and the water harbor. You can see all into Bridgetown from here as well. And, to this, and you can see along the Carlisle Bay area which is to the southwestern end of the island. And you can see the Hilton Hotel. It seems to be raining down that side. <coughs> The Cala Bay area is in the Bridgetown area. 
So Bridgestone is the capital of Barbados. And Indian Bridgestone came about because the Indian bridge that the Arawaks built back in the 1600s. That's how the name Bridgestone came about. Mm, there you can see Lower Estate, which is in St. George as well, with the Roberts Manufacturing Company. So the land sits on a hillside and it is also a beauty a majestic view when you are looking at the land from on the bottom of the hill looking up whether you are passing in a car or walking it is always a beautiful sight to behold yes guys the land resting is part on a big red round ball So this is another historic landmark in Barbados. Locals and visitors, mostly locals, people come here and take pictures of the family, posing by the land or with the land, or people even take pictures of the land or even hang out by the land as well and relax as well. So this land is a historic landmark. Even tourists come here and visit it. And as I said before, the signal station is below, right behind the land on the top of the hill here. It is $12 for entry to the signal station, but the land now is free of cost. But the signal station is $12 per entry. So thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening. And those of you watching my video who is not from Barbados, when you visit Barbados, you can make this one of your stops when traveling around the island. As I said just now, it is free of cost, no charge, but the line, but the signal station above, behind, will be $12. And you can take a tour of the signal station and get a good view of the south, mostly the south, center, and southwestern end of the island as well, and a bit of the southeastern end of the island. And you can see the soldiers' kitchen and see photos of how the island how this how the signal station was back in the day and so on thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening and don't forget to leave a comment like the video please leave a comment and let me and, and i would like some feedback please and interaction between you guys interaction with you guys so please leave a comment under the video uh, like it and uh, subscribe to Dan Roy's Barbados Travel Vlogs on YouTube as well. On um, Facebook, you can follow me at Dan Roy more, or you can follow my Facebook channel as well as Dan Roy's Barbados Travel Vlogs. <coughs> Thanks for watching and have a blessed evening.